Okay, we're back in session and we'll continue uh, our discussion of the water rates. Mayor Council, you've seen the options and you've seen the recommendation from your water and sewer advisory group. To recap again, the need is roughly $1.3 million. We believe that the best way to do that is to have a combination of base and tier. Your advisory board is recommending a 4% cap and you have seen the numbers. Uh, to give us some direction uh, for the larger overall discussion, would you like to see if you could get consensus on what you want to do with water and sewer and then we can go back and look at the uh, general fund. Okay. Uh, <coughs> our water and sewer advisory committee, they've, they've recommended this option for C. Does anybody want to weigh in on this further? Or is this acceptable? Is this what everybody agrees on as being the most appropriate uh, course of action to recover that? Yes. 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 I'll go with. Mm -hmm. So that's yes, 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 yes. Okay. So I think you have a consensus that that option four C is what is, is uh, comfortable with. And with your concurrence with that, what we will do is now finalize the water and sewer budget using this rate and using the other matter which Mr. Warden mentioned earlier. Do you concur in going ahead and increasing the facility fees, even though it's a nominal fee and it'll only generate nominal money? And this yes. this only affects new growth. Only new growth. Correct. Yes. Yes. It doesn't affect existing customers. No, it does not. Yes. The rate increase obviously will, but the facility fees will not. Then on that discussion, we will proceed to finalize the budget on water and sewer, and I'll bring you back a final report. Okay. okay. Now, with that, with that done, with that <coughs> done, uh, we'll return back to our prior discussion of uh, the recommendations. I know that we, I think the council in our last budget meeting, we all, well, I'm not saying we all agree, but I think there was, uh, there was leaning towards the uh, $2 million from the fund balance. <coughs> The revenue neutral rate at that time would have been 57 cents. I guess we need to approach that again. Uh, and the $5 uh, collection fee on sanitation. That, am I, am, am, I, uh, am I correct in assuming that's the consensus that we reached the last time that that was what the council was leaning towards? Yes, and Glenn, could you try to get that slide up that would show, uh, I believe it was option five? <laughs> Or recommendations, either one. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Mayor, as you were saying, uh, at the last meeting, I think there was general consensus about the revenue neutral number. There was general consensus about the $2 million. And then there was discussion regarding sanitation fees. I don't know whether that was general consensus or not, but are these items that you feel comfortable moving forward with or not? Council? I do. Say that again. Reluctantly. Say that again. The uh, revenue neutral, the, the $2 million general reserve, and the $5 sanitation fee. Yes, sir. I can, I can, I can uh, support that. So we've got those three out of the way, right? Everybody's comfortable with that? Well, I'm not. <coughs> I'm not comfortable with the sanitation fee. And uh, my understanding is that gets two, it's the equivalent of two cents. A little less than two cents. Remember, two cents would basically be 700,000, and this generates 675,000. So it's almost two cents a time. <coughs> I prefer the two cents in taxes because we get um, a reimbursement of some of that from the sales tax distribution. So in actuality, our constituents pay less if we use that. Valid point. You get reimbursement for what? Sales, sales tax, tax distribution. Good <coughs> <coughs> 
But I thought that we had this discussion, I guess for discussion purposes, when we instituted the $5 sanitation fee, we had a lot of discussion about it. And actually, I was probably real vocal about it because once we instituted it, we said that basically we were going to head towards self-funding. We sort of made an indirect commitment, although we can't commit future councils for anything. <coughs> And so in user, in the map, there's no user fee. That's right. That's right. And it was a user fee. So are we saying, or would you be saying that we wouldn't be headed towards that, and, and we should be shifting that back towards? Uh, uh, I understand the property philosophy. tax. I understand the philosophy. I never signed on to that. I disagree with it then, and um, to me, having it self-funded. Um, it's all about the money and, and what you got to pay. Putting that label on it really doesn't do it for me. The bottom line is that our constituents pay more when we keep doing that kind of fee as opposed to the tax increase because of the way the sales tax is, is distributed. I can't, there's no way around that for me. <laughs> And I would agree if the sales tax was distributed like it's supposed to be distributed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would, but I just, uh, and I wasn't for the sanitation fee, you know, because to me it's six and a half dozen the other. But since we agreed, and it is a user fee, and I tend to be okay with the user fee now. I just think that that's a better way of recouping. Uh, the dollars versus property tax. I think property tax, you're really putting a burden, more of a burden on the actual property taxpayers rather than the users of it. There's pros and cons, and right. I think yeah, Randy has mentioned some great cons and, and to it. The, the, I, I agree with what you say. You could get what you're saying is you can get more money with the same fee. <clears throat> Unfortunately, you're getting away from the equity of a user fee because if you raise this commercial properties two percent two cents on his property tax he's still got to pay his dumpster fee he doesn't even use residential see this is a residential i mean if you if you've got a you know if you've got a commercial property and you're using property tax to fund your residential sanitation he's paying twice He's paying his property tax to pay for sanitation, and then he's paying, I guess it's going to be us, dollar for dollar, a user fee, a strictly user fee. So he's subsidizing, he's paying twice. He's paying twice for sanitation. He's paying it, well, I don't know, you know, you know, don't have any commercial, but I'm just saying, as far as looking at it from an equity standpoint, I, uh, I'm leaning toward the user fee, but I mean, I don't like all, any of the fees. Yeah. But, well, it, you know, the, it makes the most sense. If we yeah, got our yeah. share of the sales tax distribution, you could almost justify it. Yeah, right. <laughs> you could the, almost justify it. Right. Mm -hmm. But you don't. And so you get no benefit from it. <coughs> a double payment from all the business owners. Double payment. Exactly. Double They're payment. paying twice. They're paying twice. Yeah. Can I interrupt just a minute and change gears just a <coughs> moment? All right. Let's start up here with the revenue neutral rate of 57.4%. Is everybody comfortable, comfortable with that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's something yeah. you can. I mean, can everybody say that yes. Comfortable? yes, 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 because yes. this is why it's okay. Yes. So we're good there. <clears throat> we all kind of have voiced some agreement on the two million dollars in, in general fund reserve. I'm okay with that. Okay. Yes. We yes. started out one point yes. five, but we decided we would bump it up to two. Bump it up to two. No, not really, but. It depends on the whole package. Overruled. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> what happened to DeMars? <laughs> when did I move to Syria? Okay, but it, 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 in theory he agrees, right? So we have consensus there with the $2 million. Um, we got a little sticking. We, we got, we, we've got some good conversation. discussion, some conversation on the $5 sanitation fee. So we'll put that over here for a minute. 
Okay, so we're going to discuss the sanitation fee a little more. We're going to talk about the tax rate then. You're not going to overrule Judge. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to overrule it. That's a little bit. I'm not going to overrule Judge. I feel it coming. Because a lot of, a lot of what Jerome says, I agree with. But, you know, then again, I, you know, Randy makes a very valid point there about you know the equity, the equity in that. You know. All right. So on the sanitation fee. <clears throat> Anybody else uh, care to be heard or, or, or have any comments on that? I understand the arguments. Well, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your preference? <clears throat> Probably toward the sanitation. Let me add one thing about the equity. Please do. I don't see a whole lot of equity in people who make less money paying the same additional five dollars as people who could really afford it. Yeah, but that's an unfair. What if they got a gas station? You feel yeah. like that's not fair either. That they <laughs> yeah, that's not. I mean, we don't. Well, it's a the gas stations, mm -hmm. but and, and, I, and I hear you, but yeah. but but the uh, that we still we still send that garbage truck and recycling truck by, and they stop and pick something up from them just like anybody else. And the thing about it is, on the if, if you're doing it with taxes too, the guy with a five hundred thousand dollar house is sure paying a lot more for his garbage to be picked up than That's someone with a hundred thousand dollar house. Another another argument for equity for a sanitation fee. And user fee is a user fee. You get the service you pay for. It. So we'll come back. But that's really not the point. Yeah. The point is that there's a different way of doing it that has less of an impact on people who can't afford it. That's the point. Um, and we're in control of that. Unlike the gas thing, I probably would give <laughs> me a break. <laughs> 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 I did get diesel. <laughs> so we don't have consensus on that. Uh, let's come back to that. I don't think we're in agreement. I think you have a consensus. You don't have unanimity. Well, I'd like to have unanimity. <laughs> <laughs> However, you say that fancy <laughs> word. This one will be a tough one. I think. Okay. <laughs> so I take it we do have consensus then on the on the yes. sanitation fee. We'll, we'll come. We'll you know, if y'all want to discuss it for a little bit. Not. Okay, so that's three down. All right, here comes the good one here. The, the tax rate, uh, the 6.8 cent, uh, we've seen, we've seen all, the, we saw all the numbers. They've been presented to us. We saw what we, at what level we need to get to. And this is, and this, and this, remember, is not even taking into uh, consideration what's going to happen, you know, when the legislature fixes it finishes tap dancing all over us as far as you know the uh, uh, business, business with the privilege license fee which is going to cost you know cost us another six hundred thousand dollars in revenue this is not going to fix that <coughs> any discussion on the six point eight percent tax rate that's recommended by staff well, it's, correct me if I'm wrong but that more or less Finishes the list. I mean, if, mm -hmm. if you do, if you do that, that yeah. that's, I mean, so I'd rather break that down and, yeah, and continue our discussion a, after, after the meeting. After the because meeting, because it's the six point eight cents. You mean the, the tax rate? I mean, that's because the, like I said, that that encompasses everything below it. I'm assuming, right? That's the way you yes. set the set the assumptions. That's correct. And uh, so it's, you know, that's the the final answer, really, when you get when it comes down to you talk about. You talk about once we do that, the rest of it, the others. Yeah. yeah. Built into to item number five is the assumption that you're approving items six and seven and any other issues in the budget. Okay. Mr. Thomas is correct that if you, whatever you do there, it has an impact on the other discussion. <laughs> and so, I mean, where we're at right now with the, um, the revenue neutral, the five, the, the five dollars is Sanitation is, like you said, equivalent to two cents. The 6.8, that would put you increasing just the raw numbers, 12.4 cents, just in a ballpark figure, off of 53.8.
So that's 20%. That's a 20% hike if you bundle them all together. And that's And that's significant. That's a lot. Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's significant. A lot. The other thing to, to so remember. And, and what? I thought, three, was, I thought it was a total of ten point four. The three six is the net is the revenue neutral. Each each kind of sanitation, yeah, sanitation, yeah, sanitation is cents. in effect yeah. two and cents. And, and if same. you add another, oh, okay. yeah, if you add cents. another uh, one point three million on the water water and sewer side, which that's about five percent on the just that enterprise side. But I'm just I'm just right, adding, right, adding it on yeah. there. It just piles on top. So of that's the, equivalent to four cents. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I would I would also yeah, I'd also remind you that out of the property tax that we have 19.5 million this year, uh, you know you're trying to make up almost four million dollars of lost revenue. I mean, well, any way you cut it, you know, four million out of 20 million is even common math says that's 20 percent. I mean, that's the hole we're trying to dig out. Okay, why don't we uh, recess until after the regular meeting and come back and discuss this further. This will give everybody time to, yeah, just to get ready for the so regular good. meeting. So <clears throat> think about it. So uh, we'll go ahead and stand recessed until after the uh, regular meeting.